lesson today is brought to you by a cheese grater. Stick around to the end of the lesson to find out why. Hello beautiful people and how are you today? Welcome to another lesson from You and Bree Music Tutorials. Here's what today's lesson is not. It is not difficult bar chords. It is not advanced techniques. It is simple three note movable chords that will make it easy for you to move around your fretboard with some beautiful finger picking patterns. I'll also give you some techniques later in this video on sliding. The first chord we're going to start with today is a G chord. So our G chord, basically this triangle shape that we're playing holds a major chord. Right now we're on the G chord. However, this also includes our open G. So the next few steps are going to include just our three strings closest to our toes. C, E and A string. So a fun thing about music is that it all works in patterns. The major chord is basically made up of the same patterns of notes wherever you move. Don't worry if that doesn't make sense yet. We'll talk about it in a later video. However, this G chord, we can move around our fretboard. Okay, I'm going to explain this really quickly because there's a few things on here I haven't done before. Firstly, down the bottom here is our fretboard. The circles that you're seeing are where to place your fingers and the numbers are which fingers you're placing down on the fretboard. Up here, you'll see the tab. Now in the past, I've put zeros just for the picking pattern, but here I'm trying to show you something new. I'm showing you actual tabs. The numbers up here represent which fret you're playing. And right up the top, I've got a letter name, which is actually which chord that we're playing. However, the whole time you're just holding that G chord. So use the numbers as a slight guide, but just remember that you're holding the G chord the whole time. Here, I'd like you to use your ear a little bit and do what feels good for you. Don't stress too much about the theory, but I'll give you some frets that you can play this on that will sound good. So on our third fret, we have G. And here I'm just plucking all my three strings closest to my toes at once. Or you could strum down on the bottom three strings, it's up to you. If we move up two frets, we have an A chord. We move up two frets again, we have a B chord. Move up one fret, we have a C chord. Move up another two frets, we have a D chord. Up two more, we have an E chord. So if you stick to those chords, it's going to sound reasonably good. You can go off them though, use your ear, do what feels right for you. While there are rules in music, music's also for creative expression. So if you go off the basic rules sometimes, that's okay. G, A, B, C, D. New chord, a new pattern. Before we move on, a quick shout out to one of our community members. I just want to give a quick shout out to Pebble in My Pocket for one of their kind comments on my videos this week. Pebble in My Pocket has said, I've started learning the ukulele in the last month and have been trawling the various tutors on YouTube and I can honestly say, hand on uke, I'm finding your teaching style and method the best and I've watched a lot. What kind and humbling words. Thanks Pebble in My Pocket and thank you to everyone who comments on my videos. For your chance to be featured next week, leave me a comment below. I love hearing from you. We're going to work with C minor. C minor is a beautiful chord. And to play C minor, it's our three strings closest to our toes, each finger in third fret. Once again, we're not going to be playing G string, just our three strings closest to our toes. We have C up to fifth fret, D up to seventh fret, E, eighth fret is F, 10th fret is G, and 12th fret is A. So for this finger picking pattern, I'm using eight counts within four beats. One and two and three and four and, except this time I'm playing two strings at the same time on the one. One and two and three and four and. If you're not sure how to read tab, you can click the link up here which will give you a little bit of guidance on how you can read tab. 
which will help you in this lesson. Still more to come, but first, if you're enjoying what you're learning and you don't want to miss out on future lessons, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click the bell if you want notifications when I release new videos every Tuesday. If you give this video a like, it helps reach new people so that they can also learn these tips and techniques. New chord, new pattern. E minor. Now I know a lot of people aren't a fan of E minor, but this is a great exercise to get used to it. I like to think of E minor in steps, it's a diagonal line, up and across one each time. Now in E minor, it's our third finger that's playing the note E. So I'll be leading, thinking of my third finger. So right now I'm in fourth fret with E. pattern I'm actually picking my three strings at once so our last pattern we picked two strings this time three this is a little bit more of an advanced counting strategy but you can just use your ear and feel that rhythm one e and a two e and that doesn't make sense don't worry just use your ear and feel that beat I've still got one chord to go. If you want to know more about finger picking, I've been doing some lessons recently, which you can find in a link up here. And if you don't want to miss future finger picking lessons, don't forget to subscribe. I'll be bringing more to you shortly. The other chord we're going to work with today is a D. Now, usually I would use my thumb, first finger, third finger. But the reason at the start of this video, I mentioned that the cheese grater is bringing you this lesson is because I've managed to grate my thumb. <laughs> it's really sore, so I can use a little bit but today I'm going to play with my first three fingers. You know what, it's okay. We all make modifications to do what's right for us. Don't worry if people say that's not the correct way to do it. You do what works for you. Yes, it's great if you can do things correct from the start, but sometimes it's not possible for all of us. That's all right. So that was the same picking pattern as we just did for E minor. We could also do similar to what we did with G, where we play just single notes, but this time change the order. So not just from your nose to your toes and back again, but you might play... So that picking pattern, I played my C string, E string, G string, E string. totally just make your own. You just need to write your four lines like your ukulele strings and play some zeros and follow along. When I write zeros I'm indicating the picking pattern not the tabs so I just apply the picking pattern that I've written to the chords that I'm playing. You can even get some slides in by doing this. To slide you can just pick the strings and you put a bit of pressure on to slide up. chat. Let me know below some of the injuries that you've had that have stopped you from playing ukulele. Did you make adjustments and change what you did so that you could continue playing or did you just have a break for a while and how did that affect you? Do you have tips for others who have injuries of any kind? I'm using a new camera today. I'm pretty sure I wasn't watching the lens so apologies for that. I'll work on that in the next video. You can check out some of my other videos here and here and you can subscribe by clicking here. Come introduce yourself on social media, I'd love to meet you.